Let's talk about Fear God Essentials Fall Winter 2022. Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. As you just saw in the opening of today's video, we're going to be going over everything that I did purchase from the first drop of the fall 2022 Fear of God Essentials release. I think I ended up spending a grand total of just shy of $1,200. So needless to say, this is a pretty bountiful harvest. Now, if you do enjoy this style of content, please be sure to communicate that to me by liking today's video, subscribing to my channel, and letting your thoughts be known in the comment section down below. Anyways, just before we continue on to the first piece of this haul, I did want to encourage you to join the giveaway in today's video as I will be picking a winner to go ahead and take home an entire set completely free. Well, I guess it's not free. It's going to be on me as I will be selecting somebody at random to take home a top and a bottom from this drop. And all you have to do to be eligible to win this completely free of charge, no purchase necessary, is to like today's video. Be sure you're subscribed to my channel. Go ahead and comment your Instagram handle as well as your sizes in the comment section and be following me on Instagram. I will be announcing the winner in my Instagram stories in the coming weeks, so be posted on that. And so with all that being said, let's go ahead and jump right into the first garment. So I'm not gonna lie, the coral set was probably the most intriguing of the colorways to me just because uh, we hadn't seen a, a release like this in the past, or at least a color that is this loud. And as you can see here, the coral colorway is somewhat of a hue of pink-ish a very fire all the way through these are what's known as the nylon shorts and i have to say i'm a big big fan of how they fit and the texture of the fabric the outer shell is comprised of a thick nylon which is pretty dense and it is lined with an inner lining uh, that is a thin polyester on the inside of this piece is uh, a draw cord that is bungee which does feature a rubberized lace lock and I just feel like the hardware on this collection through and through is pretty excellent. I think it's much better than uh, previous releases. As you can see, it is a shorter pair of shorts comparable to that of perhaps a four inch inseam. Of course, uh, it does have a higher rise, so it's not exactly four inches, but I would say comparable uh, to a four inch inseam pair of shorts as they are on the shorter side. I did go ahead and size to a size extra small in this piece and find that it fits perfectly around my size 30 waist. For reference, I'm 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. And I'll be saying that a few times throughout the duration of this video. Uh, but yeah, overall, just a great pair of shorts. You have the nice tonal hit uh, with that flocked logo right there. Next, I did go ahead and acquire a coral colored hoodie and so with this piece you have the same kind of thing going on with the tonal flocked logo out front and as you can see this is a raglan style of hoodie that of which fits oversized and fairly boxy i did go ahead and size to a size small for this brushed fleeced hoodie yeah overall very very fire kind of similar to what we've kind of seen in the past so um, i'm not gonna sit on this one for too, too long. But yes, I did go ahead and go with a size small, 5'7", and 160 pounds for reference. All right, so if isn't already blatantly obvious, I definitely tried to emulate one of the looks from the lookbooks, and there is only one piece left to mention, and that is the coach's jacket in coral. Uh, this one doesn't actually say Fear of God Essentials. It is the 1977 flocked logo which is a nice little change up I, this piece is a size extra small which means it does fit pretty big in my humble opinion once again i'm 5'7 and weigh 160 pounds and i'm able to layer this thing very comfortably it is comprised of two layers first the outer shell that is a nylon with a thin polyester lining on the inside keeping it comfortable and somewhat breathable uh, just like the shorts that I just showed. But yeah, overall very sick piece. You have the rubberized finish for the buttons, really nice hardware, pockets at the out seam, and then 
uh, draw cords there at the bottom if you do decide to go ahead and uh, tighten it up uh, where the waist region is. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below. I'm actually kind of on the fence about uh, this set because it's a very, very loud color than what I'm used to, but it's definitely a fun color to say the least. All right, now moving on to the smoke colored pieces, we have here the first of the bunch. And what I was actually most interested in seeing kind of differentiating, if you will, uh, to that of the running short that we just discussed is the dog shorts. And there is a bit of a difference and that's mainly due to its outer shell. The texture on this pair is finished uh, with a bit more of a matte color, almost resembling a pair of just standard khakis. It's uh, it's really got no shine to it, which will definitely serve its purpose if you're looking for a pair of shorts like this. Outside of that, I feel like the fit is very comparable to the running short. So I think the main differentiating factor is how you would wear these shorts. These seem to be a little bit more casual uh, in my humble opinion, whereas the running shorts would serve to be a bit more of an athletic look, at least in my opinion. Overall, very nice pair of shorts, similarly to the last pair, you have an elasticized waistband with the bungee and the rubberized lace lock to go ahead and secure a snug fit. Moving on, you actually have no other logos apart from the rubberized branding here in the middle of the shorts. What's nice about this pair is that it actually does have a functional back pocket. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but the running shorts lack the back pocket. And uh, I don't know, I feel like that's kind of a, a letdown, if you will, because for me personally, between these two shorts, I do actually prefer the running short. All right, and so this next piece is the logo tee. Not really too, too much to kind of specify with this piece, apart from the fact that it does have a slightly thicker collar compared to previous collections. But outside of that, it's the same kind of great cotton oversized t-shirt uh, that we've kind of known to come and love from uh, these Fear of God Essentials releases. If you guys aren't familiar, go ahead and see some of my previous videos where I delve a bit more into the specifics of this t-shirt, but it is that flocked logo as you can see. And you actually also have that same rubberized hit uh, that we see time and time again on the back there. For sizing, I did go ahead and take an extra small. Again, use me for reference, I'm 5'7", away 160. This next piece is known as the Essentials Smoke Colored, oops, nylon track pants. And uh, this pair of pants does fit pretty relaxed throughout. And you do have a somewhat concealed zipper that is 12 inches here at the bottom. Similar to the rest of the nylon pieces in this collection, you have a thick and dense nylon outer shell uh, that is a lot of the structure for this piece. And then the lining of it is that thin polyester for both mobility and breathability. I did go ahead and take a size extra small in this piece for my 30 waist and I find that it fits perfectly. Overall, I do like how these fit. I'm just not crazy about uh, that jogger element just because the zipper plus the jogger, uh, it doesn't really look that good to me. So I think I'm actually gonna be returning this one here. All right, and so here we have the bucket hat that honestly, it, it just doesn't really look very nice on me. I did already try this one on. That's how I was able to uh, you know, take notes on all these pieces, but yeah, it just doesn't look really nice on me. I think it's because my head is like kind of big, but yeah, I feel like this portion of it is like too tall and it just doesn't really fit my head. And so for that reason, I'm not gonna be talking about this one too much. This could look really nice on somebody, just unfortunate that that person or that somebody isn't me. This piece was one that I actually had very high hopes for. If you guys did catch uh, the video where I kind of break down everything before the drop. This one was the one that was like kind of most intriguing to me. And this is the cropped full zip jacket. It is comprised of a brushed fleece throughout, which is very insulating, making it super cozy. Um, the proportions, or I should say the dimensions on it are pretty unique in that from pit to pit, as well as its length is very, very equitable. I do think I messed up with sizing. I could have gone with a size small, which is maybe a factor as to why I'm not crazy about this piece. It just doesn't fit quite as nicely and isn't quite as complimentary uh, to my body, at least, as I thought it would be. All right, so we're moving on from a piece that didn't quite live up to what I was hoping for 
to a piece that actually exceeded my expectations. And this is the long sleeve polo. Now with the prior polos, I wasn't exactly crazy about them uh, because of the fit, uh, but they really did such a great job with how this one was cut as well as the fabric. It is comprised of a French terry, which is something I was really surprised about. It is on the lighter side, which means that it's gonna be very breathable, light, and you're not gonna overheat if, if that's something you'd be concerned about. You have the big logo out front, you have the polo buttons, and then you have a silhouette that is cropped, oversized, and pretty boxy. As for sizing, I did go ahead and take an extra small, and I do love how this one fits. Once again, I'm 5'7 and weigh about 160 pounds. And now moving on to the last color of today's haul, we have here eggshell, which I do believe I saved the best for last because in person, I think of these three, these are my favorite. And so to go ahead and start things off, we have here the new sweat shorts, that of which does feature a slightly higher rise or larger drop crotch. And I actually really like the direction of where these shorts have been going as of late, just being a little bit more oversized. Now, generally speaking, I do wear baggier shorts like this with a tighter top. For the sweat shorts, I did go ahead and size down to an extra small once again. I am a size 30 waist, 5'7 and weigh 160 to achieve this fit. Very nice sweat shorts overall. Uh, nothing really too, too crazy here, uh, much like what we've seen in the past. Also, just real quick, I did also get the running shorts in eggshell as well. Definitely a big fan of these shorts. I did already see these in store at PacSun. Upon seeing them, I was really stoked that I did end up purchasing them in this order. Next up, we have the nylon short sleeve shirt. It does have a button closure and actually is very reminiscent to that of the coach's jacket we spoke about earlier. Really the only difference being uh, that it does have the chopped off sleeves, which is why I find it rather peculiar that the coach's jacket goes for more than double at 170, whereas this piece here goes for 80 bucks. That $8 price point creates a pretty solid level of value because this, in my opinion, is my favorite piece from this entire drop. I don't own anything like it, and I just really like how it fits overall as it is oversized, boxy, and does feature a slight crop to it. I did go ahead and size to an extra small just like with the coach's jacket, and uh, needless to say, this one does fit pretty oversized. And for the last piece of the day, we have the long sleeve shirt. Uh, similarly to the t-shirt, this one is comprised of a nicely weighted cotton fabric. Uh, the one thing that is pretty different in my opinion uh, is the collar on this piece as it is very, very thick, almost stepping into that mock neck territory. I have the tonal flopped logo out front, which is on the bigger side. And I did go ahead and opt for a size extra small. It does fit somewhat long and oversized for it being extra small, but um, I do appreciate how this one looks with the shorter shorts. And for that reason, I did go ahead and style that accordingly. All right, and so that is going to do it for today's haul of the Fear of God Essentials Fall 22 release drop one. Let me know in the comment section down below which one, if anything, was your favorite piece, favorite outfit. I'm definitely wanting to hear what you guys have to say about this entire drop. As always, I do appreciate you guys for continuing to come back to the channel. Before I let you go, I did remind you to go ahead and join today's giveaway that I spoke about earlier in today's video. And I'll go ahead and link those instructions as well below. Anyways, with that, guys, thank you so, so much for stopping by the channel. As always, it is a major privilege of mine to serve you through making content, and I'll never take it for granted one bit. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace and be blessed.